Hello everyone, welcome to instrumentation tools. Let's open the quiz meter. So in the previous videos, under the you know PLC zone, under the PLC true or false topic, we have crossed 4 level and today we are going to cross the level 5. So let's move on to this. Here also we are going to have a 10 question. So let's move to the first question. The software version control document provides recipe for batch control. So we have to find out the given statement is true or false. So a recipe is one of the concept in the PLC programming. So that will be a you know separate kind of a programming thing. Okay, the concept is completely different. But what they have given is the software version control document. So this is something related to the software versions. What are the software we are going to use? That means, uh, you know, the software version control document in the PLC maintains the record of the different versions of the software, including the PLC program, firmware, you know, configuration files, etc. It includes the version number and when it is made, I mean the date, who is the author, and changes and the reason for why the version has changed from one to another one and other relevant details. So what is the important of this software version control document is it is essential for tracking, managing and auditing software modifications. So it is nothing to deal with the you know recipes for the batch control. So the concept is completely different. So I'm going with the answer false. So the next one, panel layout drawing shows how the PLC and related components are mounted inside the control panel. So this level 5, I think it's going to be with the you know documentation questions. So the panel layout drawing, obviously it is one of the important document for the, uh, you know, uh, while making the machine. This document, what it is going to, you know, give us means... It is going to uh, provide a detailed representation of the physical layout of the PLC and related components such as you know power supplies, relays, terminals and how they are going to mount inside the control panel. So what the statement they have given is actually a right. So I am going with the answer true. So the next one. The PLC site acceptance test report is not needed since the PLC system is always tested by the manufacturer before shipping. So what they have given is that's that particular test they have mentioned now that is not necessary kind of they have given. So even though a PLC is tested at the manufacturer location it should also test at the site and that testing should get passed then only they will accept the PLC. So that test is the site acceptance test. So this is the document that result the acceptance you know testing performed at the site after installation. It verifies that the PLC system meets the specification uh, you know requirements and standard agreed upon with the customer. Even if the manufacturer tests the you know system you know acceptance test by or with the customer ensures you know the specific application and environment so the what the given statement is actually wrong because site acceptance test is mandatory you know at the customer site so i'm going with the answer false so we have a fourth question here the system architecture diagram provides an overview of the structure and relationship between software and hardware components so generally every you know device will have that system architecture diagram right so obviously it will going to tell us the relationship between hardware and software you know components so also it offers the high level overview of the PLC system showing the structure, relationships and interaction between the software and hardware components. It includes details like you know modules, interfaces, layers and communication channels and etc. 
it is essential for understanding the system design you know scalability you know uh, complexity and potential areas for modification or expansion so i'm going with the answer true move on to the next question cable schedules are used to show the junction boxes before you know sorry junction boxes installation location in the plant so cable schedules are used to show the junction boxes installation so cable schedule is also a kind of document but it is not going to tell us the you know junction boxes location where to install kind of but instead of that it will give the or provide the detailed information about the cables used including the type you know sizes length color codes terminations and you know routing etc they are essential for planning installation maintenance and troubleshooting of the wiring they have nothing to do with the you know junction box installation location so i'm going with the answer call false so moving on to the sixth question the software design specification outlines the plc program structure logic algorithm data flow and other software related aspects so sds okay so it is the comprehensive document that outlines the plc's program you know structure logic algorithm whatever they have given na so everything that will be includes in this document it also describe how the you know plc software is designed organized and implemented to achieve the desired functionality and performance so yes sds outlines the plc program structure so i am going with the answer true so moving on to the seventh question loop diagram shows the connection and interaction between control loops in the plc system so yes loop diagrams provides detailed information about the connections interaction and relationship between the control loop in the plc system they show input and output devices controllers transmitters sensors actuators you no know, signal types etc so understanding loop diagram is essential for configuring troubleshooting you know these kind of purpose obviously we are in need of you know loop diagram for the efficient process control so i'm going with the answer true so we have eighth question here the electrical schematic represents the type of power supplies in the plc system so the type of power supplies so what they have given is actually the wrong because the electrical schematic in the plc context provides a detailed representation of the electrical connections circuits components and interrelationship within the plc system it includes symbols lines notations and other elements to describe the electrical design and functionality so it's not only you know telling the type of power supplies so i'm going with the answer false so we have two more questions here hardware configuration reports report details the software logic and code used within the plc so obviously this is uh, you know false right because the hardware configuration report should you know provide details about the physical configuration of the plc systems or ivo modules or communication devices or you know power supplies you know all everything will be included in the hardware configuration report so we will have a separate uh, you know document uh, called the software design specification for the software logic and code used within the plc so the answer to the question is false so we have a 10th question here factory acceptance testing is conducted at the customer's site to ensure the plc system compliance with specification before installation so we have a you know in the previous question also we have seen uh, you know site acceptance test like that we have a factory acceptance test which will be done at the manufacturer you know facility not at the customer site 
so here we have to prove and get pass in this test so that the plc will get dispatched so before shipping obviously we have to do this testing at the you know manufacturer facility itself so the answer to the question is false so we are done with all 10 question so to move on to the next level you can press this option or if you want to review the answers you can go for this okay so that's it about the level 5 i'll meet you in the another session with the next level thank you